Okay, guys, hope everyone's doing well. Playing on the Smurf right now, and after posting twice in a row games that didn't have any commentary to them, I'm looking to have at least one deep commentary game. So I will try to over explain what, what I'm thinking about and doing. <laughs> So I'm facing Yone, uh, I will talk about it last, so it's Smolder, Alistar into Zaya Bard, uh, Smolder is playing with Comet, um, I think he's fine with his Q, so it's a scaling champion playing with Alistar, um, Zaya is also kind of a scaling champion, but I feel like Zaya has to be really good into Alistar, uh, and Bard as well because of the range dev. I think it's going to be hard for Alistar to play the lane. So most likely he wants to roam. And if he does so, well maybe actually Smolder can get Dove kind of easily. I don't know. I feel like, like bot lane is going to be really difficult for them. They want to scale, but they don't have the easiest scaling. Okay, having a first blood on your jungler is really good in my opinion because then he can clear faster. And so you just have, I mean, having faster clears is so strong. Um, mid lane, an Evian to Ariane, I don't expect much happening mid lane, probably just scaling up. Uh, I can see, like the thing is both don't have really mobility. So I can see Nocturne and, and Rengar playing mid, and now that Orianna has no flash, makes even more sense that Nocturne goes mid. And after 6, they can like perma punish, most likely. Top lane's kind of a scale matchup. Kind of. Can snowball pretty hard. I'm waiting in case he leashed. I'm gonna start hitting to set up for Big Fury, wait for him to queue on the minions. I could have touched that. Still we won that trade. I'm actually fine with the wave pushing to me. That's no W, so if he queues in... Oh shit. Still gonna be really good. Yep. He has no W again, so I'm gonna pressure a bit and still press my Q now. Try to abuse my sustainative. And the wave is pushing to me, as we said. He's gonna flash. Should have flashed. Yes, TP, so I'm gonna base now. So I can spend my gold. Well, the thing is, he has TP, and now he's probably moving to that fight, so. Probably need to move as well. Bro, I... No. You have TP to fix your bot wave. Your mid wave. Okay, it's still, it's still worth it at the end of the day. Like we did 2 for 2. And... My wave was... Insanely good from the start. So I'm ahead in CS, in experience, in gold. Now, if he walks up. I, I use attack move click, so I'm not gonna miss my auto on him. 
when he comes back from his E. You can probably outplay this. Wing for ADD buff. Outplayed. Not too hard. Not too hard though. It's going back out, but gonna buy tier 2 boots. The reason I like buying tier 2 boots into Yone is because he's most likely gonna rush this. And I want to match the movement speed. And I also want to be as strong as possible, so I think I think it's fine to buy a refillable, like 200 extra health. Might help me keep snowballing. Now the wave is pushing the B, and I, I can look for a freeze, but the thing that I don't like about freezing is that void grabs are spawning. And I kinda want to be able to contest them. But if if my Nocturne is playing bot, okay, we see Rengar. I'm gonna ping that, I want to play this. Being that I want to play this, and then I manage to play this, so instead of freezing forever. It's okay if I don't get this, yes. I don't want to wait forever. I will take Pryo, I will hit this to keep my fury up. Get in for here, get in for here. In for there. this my sure is still up and we have a good angle on Rengar perfect that was planned a long time ago this guy is dead I don't know why he walked so close to me when he's so far behind I want to push fast, so I'm not going to go for these two minions. Okay, so now what? Um, because death timers are so short, I cannot go for two plates, but we have three grubs, so I can still like hit an auto or two. I can actually go for a play. Rengar is kind of out of this game, so I'm not concerned about him. A bit closer than expected. Yeah, I was gonna cancel at some point, but then I, I saw Rengar bot and I knew that I could keep going. Yeah, it got a bit closer than expected, but this is like so big. I <coughs> also kinda knew it was Fist of Famine. Okay. Uh, do I make gold for Kraken Sarah? I may do something weird. No, no, I do have it. I was, I was gonna maybe even go for PD first. Or just to, to spike as hard as possible. Well, now we have Kraken 2, Longsword, Dagger. So that's a really, really big lead. Nice. Okay, wave pushing to me, he's getting a crash. I don't have ult and I don't know where Rengar is and they know where my Rengar is. So... I'm not gonna go too crazy. Even Eing in, in that bush range could have been dangerous. Okay, now it's not the time to give 800 gold. I see Rengar now. And I see that the blue buff is spawning. On top side, and Rengar is gonna spawn soon, so he might want to just go straight into his top side and get the blue buff. So I'm gonna look to take it before he does. And if Yone contests me, I would just kill Yone. Up, I'm not contested. Okay. 
Okay, Rengar is actually bot. Uh, I think Yone is on this. Okay, he took it already. I will go back to pushing top. My minions are actually stronger now. If you look at this, I left kick on minions and I see that they're stronger. So the waves don't follow the same rules as usual. So here the wave was supposed to bounce back to me because I pushed it in. But actually it doesn't because our minions are way stronger because we're ahead in the game. That's why I needed to go back top. RSA lose. Got an XP. I don't know what Yone is doing. He's not playing the game anymore, I guess. Or maybe he's on columns. I'm not sure. We still have T1 gold to take. I want to deny golden experience, but I also want to keep accelerating the game. If we're completely even in this situation, I would have denied like multiple waves. But because we're stomping, I actually want to keep pushing the lead. Also, I know that we're going to play for Drake most likely. And if they group as 5 and play the Drake as 5, well, I want to make sure that I'm actually taking something and not just denying something. <coughs> and this might be GG. Um... Okay, I mean, I will keep I will keep saying what goes through my mind because regardless of the state of the game, how lost it is or how won it is, you should keep asking yourself this question, like, what is the best play now? What gives us the most right now? And keep playing for this. Of course, it's way easier to do when you're stomping than when you're getting uh, stomped. And yo, so you see, like Nocturne is saying, like, go top, let's push. I don't think that's the best play. Like, okay, that's the best if they're not playing. But they might they might play again, you know? I have no guarantee about that. So I'm just taking things as information. Trying not to put emotion. That's why it didn't like just keep pushing top. And actually it was right not to keep pushing top, because Yone was ended up defending. Same here. I think if I go for the dive, there's a bigger chance that I just give a 1k shutdown. I'd rather spend my gold. I have a full item in base. It's gonna worry. No one is tanky enough for me to go rage blade. I don't want to do, do business like top anymore. Top in hip is not what's gonna win us the game. I mean, we could consider that it's like we're stomping so much that we can just like speed run getting an in hip and then just push there. But I don't think it's consistent. Uh, we don't really care about Drake though. Like Drakes are, I mean, it's a good or it's a good Drake by itself, but Drakes are really strong because they help you pressure soul. But here we're not gonna play soul, like the game is gonna be over far before soul. So we don't wanna waste time just hitting <coughs> hitting this. Now taking T2s into T3s, that's a good thing. Taking uh, camps also so they don't get back in the game to have no way of getting resources is also really good. I guess they're doing this kind of plays. Waiting to get an E range. This is all turn. Same, I think, I think I don't want to use my flesh aggressively because they're all worth like 100 gold, so I may, I, I'd rather use my flesh defensively. So I could have e flashed on Yone and kill him, but I don't think that's the play. <coughs> so 
So now you probably have heard about that rule that says like you don't want to get in hipsy for 20 minutes. Well, it's not, it's not that simple. It's more like you don't want to get in hip if you cannot... Like if it's not going to win you the game basically. So either it's going to win you the game because with the super minions you're going to be able to like have the push and end the game. Or because the pressure that Inips gives you will allow you to get either Drakes or Nash. That will allow you to end the game later. Basically, that's the idea. Um, so here, for example, like we needed Inhibs to just start hitting the turrets and get Nexus. So, so we hit that. Okay, well, guys. <coughs> I will post it then. That's exactly what I wanted. I didn't really want a stomp, but I, I mean, I was not looking for a particular kind of game. I was just looking for a game where I explain what goes through my mind. Of course, there's even more that goes through my mind than what I'm able to say uh, because I have so much like time experience on the game. And of course, you think faster than you speak. So that's why I will keep doing this from time to time in longer games also where you have late game and shit. So I can keep explaining, maybe like verbalizing different stuff and you can keep like peeking my brain and learn some stuff. Anyway guys, thank you for watching it. Next video is going to be tomorrow, same time, same place. If you like that one, feel free to drop a like, a comment, or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Um, and yeah, uh, until next time guys, take care of yourselves. Go to kind of fun gaming in real life, and we'll see you next time. Peace, much love. Bye-bye.